So when I first met Paul Spitale, who's the vice president at Colt, I knew there was a new sheriff in town. And Colt is one of the great names in American firearms, but he had a personal story about his own Colt Gold Cup national match that was really disappointing. He bought the gun thinking of the heyday of Colt, and he ended up having to send it to a gunsmith to get the gun absolutely right for competition. And it was his personal mission, frankly, to fix the Gold Cup. The result of his ambition is the gun I have in my hand today. And this, of course, is a current production gun, and it has all the hallmarks of the Gold Cup. Now, they use the Series 70 operating system because it gives you a much finer trigger, and this one is very, very crisp. But also, you need good sights. So Colt has a dovetailed in, at least in the back, fully adjustable rear sight with a face that's grooved to reduce glare. And then in the front, of course, they've got not quite a Patridge style, but it is a full target front sight. There's a rib to the top, and what this does is reduce glare so that when you're shooting, in particular, NRA Bullseye or any other type of competition, you're not getting the sunlight reflecting off the top of your slide. That said, this gun has what you're looking for in a high-end competition gun in terms of finish. This gun is a seven-shot 45 ACP. There are nine millimeter versions of it because a lot of guys seem to think that's a good idea. Uh, but you have, of course, a target style trigger. When you get back to the hammer, you've got grooves on the back of the hammer. Uh, you have, of course, a beaver tail style grip safety. Again, a hallmark of the Colt. But some of the other ergonomic touches include vertical grooves on the back strap and, of course, vertical grooves on the front strap. So that when you get this gun in your hand, it actually helps you to hold on. And of course, you have beautiful, beautiful walnut stocks with a Colt Escuchon rendered in gold on the side. So meaning that it's a Colt 1911, you've got some controls on your left side. Of course, you have your magazine release here. Uh, you've got your slide lock here and you have uh, safety. So of course, this gun does have a national match barrel. And when you look at the lugs, of course, this is a top locking gun as all 1911 should be, but they've really held the tolerances on this barrel. Frankly, a lot of the accuracy comes from the fit between the barrel and the slide, but it starts with this. So when it comes to the features that you're looking for in a competition gun, first of all, you have to have accuracy. This gun has it. Uh, you have to have a great trigger. This gun has it. And the finish work is actually quite nice. There's a lot of pride of ownership with a gun like this. And frankly, I am very impressed with what they've done with the Gold Cup. For more on firearms and shooting gear, go to AmericanRifleman.org.